All right, y'all, so we are in Hiawassee, Georgia, um, not far from the North Carolina border. Clay uh, came out here with us. Um, this is Clay's first time out backpacking with us. Um, we're gonna go out for grouse tomorrow. It's opening day in Georgia, October 15th for grouse. So today's the 14th. We headed out after work, um, hiked in through the dark. Luckily, a been out here before so we know where we're looking for um it's only about three and a half mile hike in we got our fire rolling slowly it's getting there we got camp set up <clears throat> so we're in pretty good shape right now um kind of tough to see around here i know but there's colt hanging out in the tent we actually picked up some new gear this season we picked up a new nemo kanai tent Colt's laying down over there on the uh, Thermarest Trail Pro and Nemo um, sleeping bag as well. Hopefully that'll keep us a little warmer this year. We were actually on my original gear from when I first started camping. Um, literally my first camping trip, I was about, I don't know, probably nine. Uh, my dad bought a bunch of gear, some good gear. It lasted me a really long time. This is my first season um, not using it. I'm, 27 now so definitely got its life's worth its money's worth uh, it's definitely pretty cool that still using the same stuff i grew up camping with but it's time for an upgrade um gear's gotten quite a bit lighter over time so it's time to take advantage of uh, a little bit of the newer technology but we're all set up we'll show you around camp tomorrow a bit more when it's light out um clay's got his uh xenu all set up with his rain fly and all he's gonna be hammocking it more power to you. I like my tent. <laughs> but should be a really good day, right, Clay? Oh, yeah. So pretty stoked to be out here. Hopefully we'll get into some grass tomorrow. All right, y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. Got his eyes on the prize, nose on the ground. He's perked up. be just a list for the sound. He's a bird dog in. All right, y'all. So, got a little light now, so I'll be able to show you around a little bit better. Woke up a little late. It's uh, about eight o'clock. The uh, bourbon treated us pretty well last night, so we slept pretty decent. It's uh, it's really nice out this morning. It's about let's see. Take a look at my watch and figure out exactly what temperature it is. It's 41 out. So nice and cool this morning. So this is uh this is what we're working with. There's clay set up over there. Got a nice couple of trees just hang his hammock on. Colt, you say good morning? He's ready to go. He woke up ready to go. Just want to get hunting. We're uh, getting ready to make a little coffee and some breakfast. Percolator we brought along. Cause Clay lost his camp, his camp coffee maker. So we got my percolator from home, and it was nice enough to bring us some coffee grinds. So we'll get some coffee rolling, get some breakfast made, and. Eventually get some hunting done. I'll show you guys this view. Colt, come. Come on. This is a, uh, hey, he's ready to go. He thinks we're going hunting. Uh, he's right, but not just yet. Come on. Hey, air. Colt, air. Ah. Uh. Easy. This is the spot, man. So this is our little balcony over camp. This is our second year coming to this spot. 
I mean, it is a awesome spot. Can't quite tell, there's a lake down in that holler over there. I mean, just mountains for miles. Nice and cool out. Leaves are changing. I mean, they don't get any better than this. This is hunting season. So, we'll, uh, we'll check back in with y'all in a little while. We're gonna go get some breakfast made and get our butts in gear to get some grouse hunting done. But, good deal. Oh, finally made it out to the trail. Colts from the to go. Couple birds back here last year. No shots on them, but I'll definitely try again this year. Just uh, finished up having a little lunch. It's about probably 11.30 or so. Colt, you really gonna pee right there next to Clay's hammock? <laughs> yep. So we're gonna go get a little firewood, hang out for a bit. Um, this morning's hunt wasn't so successful. Actually, we didn't see anything. <clears throat> Not even a squirrel, right, Colt? But it's all right. If uh, nothing else, we get some good scouting done. We're gonna try and find some water. Clay uh, went all earlier looking for some water, but left the GPS over here. So. Gather up some wood for tonight's fire. I don't know. Might even take a little nap. Who knows? <laughs> Here. So, opening day of grouse season is now in the books. Um, no longer legal shooting hours. So October 15th, opening day of grass season, we're in the woods of North Georgia. Um, Colt did about 10 and a half miles today. I think we're all a little bit out of shape or... Mm. Colt, I think he did it right. Um, he made us look like uh, we needed to work out more. <laughs> but it was a good day. Unfortunately, we hadn't seen any birds all day. Um, no drumming in the air. I mean, it's a little early to hear drumming, but it was a good day that we spent out in the woods. We we got up this morning, went out, came back here in the afternoon, took a little nap, um, hung out, had some lunch, and then went back out after it cooled down a bit um, and, you know, got some more hunting in. We hit a couple spots that we'd hit last year where we had seen some birds. Um, just not in our cards today. That's all right. Um, we had a good day out in the woods so um clay what do you think of uh your first day out grouse hunting 
Uh, didn't really know what to expect, honestly. Uh, it was my first time hunting grouse, uh, especially, and also my first time hunting in the mountains too, being from Ohio, we don't really have mountains, so. Um, yeah, didn't really know, didn't really have any expectations. Uh, we spent a lot of time looking at maps, trying to figure out what areas we wanted to go, trying to try to hit a little bit. Right. So, it, I mean, all in all, it was a good time, regardless. Right. <clears throat> what do you think of the uh, the coverage that grouse like to hide in? It's thick. Yeah. It's real thick. Yeah. I think we spent most of the day walking, hunched over, getting, crawling, crawling, yeah. getting stabbed by branches and. But yeah, definitely, definitely dense. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's definitely different. Um, you know, you're not still hunting in the woods when you're still hunting in the woods for a deer or something. You know, you, you get in your spot and you're, you're set up there. Um, you know, grouse hunting, you're walking all day, and so you're, um, bushwhacking pretty much all day long. Yeah. You know, over here with all the magnolias and stuff that. Even once it gets colder out, you know, magnolia leaves are going to stay on. It's still going to stay pretty thick out here. Mm -hmm. So, um, that being said, it, it is still a little warm. Um, we saw a ton of hikers out there today. And the last time I was out here was, uh, I guess, late last November. I think we saw one person the whole time we were out here. So, yeah, we tried to get a lot away from the main trail as far as we possibly could. There's a lot of, um, steep inclines that we try to stay away from so we try to focus on hitting the spurs and saddles and kind of branching off from there but right right um so we're gonna head back out in the morning uh do a little hunting before we pack out and uh get back home um so who knows what tomorrow will hold right but it was a good time to get our feet wet. We did check out a couple spots to see if we could find some water. Unfortunately, no luck. So pretty much any time we're up here, we're going to have to be hiking in our own water. Um, did go ahead and get a two-gallon bladder this time that Clay and I took turns carrying in, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, it, it wasn't light. It's was probably about 16 pounds, they say. Uh, and our rocks were probably, what, at least 50 yeah with, I, I, with the guns and everything yeah yeah i mean i weighed my pack before i had left and it was at 46 pounds that was without any of the water so yeah probably right mm -hmm. around 50 pounds um luckily it's not too far of a hike in um to this particular spot that we set up camp at um last night was interesting you know hiking in in the dark definitely uh different you know not being able to see all of the uh the landmarks that you're used to seeing as you're hiking in but <clears throat> you know i had it marked out on my gps and when you get get in here you know it's pretty easy to identify the spot you won't really miss it um we got this awesome overhang with this cave kind of natural chimney that goes up through the cave or through the uh the overhang um which is sweet there's lots of dead wood around so you know we're not out here chopping down trees on national forest or anything like that there's lots of dead wood. There's good coverage, a hell of a view um, above us as well. So it's kind of the perfect spot to set up grass camp, in my opinion. But, yep. but it's been a good day. So Colt's pooped. He's uh, cuddled up here with Clay and getting warm. We got our little fire rolling. We just finished up some dinner. Maybe get into a little bit of the bourbon and uh, do it again in the morning. Clay, are there any? Uh, Anything you'd like to see happen as you come on more of these trips or things that you'd plan differently? Um, I mean, obviously it'd be nice to get a bird one of the times you're out here, right? <laughs> um, but any, anything you do differently or things that you picked up on or learned or... Um, is this, you know, this is kind of cool for our viewers because this is your first, you know, wild mm, bird hunt, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so give us, you know... I would say probably do a little more... Um, preparation on my end uh kind of learning more about like the habits and habitat and you know behaviors of grouse mm -hmm. so that'd be a big one for me um and then also now that i've been out here kind of have a better idea of what kind of gear and equipment would be more suitable right. than you know what i brought um, so just a little more preparation i think yeah and what do you, so what do you think about you know chasing a bird dog all day mm. I love hunting over dogs. Yeah. It's uh, today's the second time I've done it. 
first time I did it was um, hunting pheasants, and it's a completely different ball game. Right. Over grouse. Were you um, were you hunting pheasants on like a preserve or, or, or wild pheasants? Um, no, they weren't wild pheasants. It was a it, uh, it was wildlife area. Okay. Um, up stocked in, up in Ohio. Yeah, they gotcha. were, they uh, release them every year. Gotcha. So they're not really uh, very. They were native at one point, but now their numbers are yeah. real low. So, yeah, that's they, you know that's what I grew up stock hunting them, too. So they'd stock state land and mm, we'd go hunt that. Yeah, uh, yeah, but it's definitely definitely a lot of fun. I, I I've really grown to like bird hunting a lot, um, just because like the uh, a lot of the camaraderie and um, you know the bond, like hunting over the dog, and just a lot of things have to come together. So right. I enjoy it. All right, guys. Well, you know, it's cool to have Clay out here on his first wild bird hunt. And I know a lot of the people that are checking this channel out are just getting into bird dogs or wanting to see more about bird dogs. So we're, you know, that's what we're about, bird dog tradition. So we pass it along when we can um, kind of share that camaraderie that Clay was talking about. Um, so, again, thank you to uh, Nuntula Creek Farms for everything they do for us. Thank you to Green Line Brewery. Um, and of course, first mate, pet foods, they're, you know, the fuel behind this fire right here. So <clears throat> thanks again, guys. And then thank you, big thank you to Cody Baldwin for putting together a intro song for us. Um, and super stoked to have some local artists putting together some music for us for our local channel. So thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon. Got his eyes on the prize